Hey what's up guys, Dasa here and today is my 17 week pregnancy update. So sorry I haven't done any updates yet but nothing that exciting has happened yet so I want to get to the good part. Today I am 17 weeks, it is Saturday December 20th and I, yeah, I just made 17 weeks today and I'm so 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 excited because I finally can feel Nevaeh moving. So um, we found a middle name for her. Her name is going to be Nevea Elena Thomas. So I love it. If you guys um, saw my last video, the gender reveal, I did tell you guys um, Nevea is heaven spelled backwards. But also I looked up the meaning and the meaning also means light. So I thought that was awesome. Light, heaven, goes hand in hand. I just think it's a beautiful name and a beautiful meaning. And um, we were looking for middle names and I... We both came, me and my boyfriend came across Elena. We just think that's a really, really pretty name as well. So that's going to be her name, Nevaeh Elena Thomas. So yeah, I'm really excited. So let's get into um, what I've been feeling lately. So as I said, um, I just read 17 weeks today. And since I've only been 17 weeks for like a matter of hours, um, this is going to be a 17 pregnancy week update slash 16 week pregnancy update so um basically my symptoms and what I've been going through I've been having the worst headaches ever like I don't understand like if you guys are pregnant if you guys have been pregnant before and you guys hit the 16 week mark to between 16 and 17 weeks your headaches is extreme like I legit a few days ago had a headache for three hours and it just was on and on I was like panicking I called my nurse I called my doctor I'm like what do I do and they told me the only medicine I could take is Tylenol, but um, I haven't taken it yet just because I'm really nervous about it, you know, affecting the baby. And um, I just don't want to take that chance. So I just endured the pain and it went away. But definitely headaches. I've been having horrible heartburn every time I lay down on my back or even if I lay on my side, any way I lay, I get heartburn. Just as soon as I lay down, it hits me. It's just I don't even have to eat anything and I still get heartburn. So... That's one of the um, symptoms or side effects of pregnancy. Um, other than the headaches and heartburn, I haven't had that much um, nausea or morning sickness. And my whole 17 weeks, I've probably thrown up like twice. Sorry for TMI, but I really don't get that bad morning sickness. Sometimes I'll get nauseous, but not to the point where I feel like I'm going to, you know, throw up. But, um... Only twice, knock on wood. That's not wood, but I'm gonna knock on it anyways. Um, yeah. But um, other than that, for symptoms, that's been pretty good where that's concerned. My appetite has gone up so much. My weight now is 128. And if you guys have subscribed to my channel or been a long time subscriber, you know that I've been trying to, get to gain weight. Well, my weight gain journey is over now. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be gaining way more weight. So you guys will probably see changes with my body over the next, the next few weeks. Um, I've gained, I don't know how much I gained the last few appointments it was six pounds but I'm pretty sure it's over six pounds now so now my weight is 128 and I heard that every week you gain a pound during pregnancy so I'm really really looking forward to that um I'm really excited to gain more weight that's gonna be very exciting this is like probably the most I've ever weighed in my whole life 128 so happy about that um like I said today is the first time I felt movement I was so excited like I lit the dude was just laying down watching YouTube and all of a sudden I feel something and I'm thinking like is this gas I don't know if it was gas or not and then I'm just like feeling I'm like wait a minute I don't get gas up here and it was moving so it was like on top of my where by my belly button on this side on that side and then I'm like wait let me ask my mom because am I tripping so I go and ask her and she puts her hand right there and she's like yeah she's kicking like she's really active right now she's moving around that just got me so happy and so excited I'm just like oh my gosh like she's happy she's healthy she's moving around Every time I hear heartbeat, it just gets me really happy and excited. Tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Monday, the 20, let me keep track, the 21st, no, the 22nd, I'm going back to the 3D ultrasound place, and I'm going to get another ultrasound so I can get my baby's heartbeat put into a stuffed animal so I can keep with me, and every time I squeeze a stuffed animal, I get to hear my baby's heartbeat. So, I'm really excited they got it back in stock. I guess everybody's having girls are find, finding out they're having girls in um, the end of 2014 because all the girls stuffed animals were gone and it was nothing but boys so really really excited for that 
other than that, I really don't have much updates. Um, I'm gaining weight normally. I got the regular side effects. I'm having weird cravings. Like, um, for some reason, I just really want ravioli. I don't know. Or I'm, like, getting obsessed with tomato juice, like V8. I've been drinking a lot of that. Um, tuna. I really have a taste for sushi. I know you're not supposed to eat it, so I'm not eating it, but I just really 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 want sushi so bad i've been like up on chinese food lately i'm just all over the place like this is the time where i can eat anything i want well not anything because i just stay healthy but i'm pretty much eating anything but um yeah so this is just a quick update i'm sorry if i missed anything um it's late and i've had a long long day i've been up since like two o'clock in the morning and it is now it's 5, it's not late, but it's dark, and every time it gets dark, I feel like it's late. I just had a long day, I'm really, really tired, so I just want to get this video up, because I know I said I would start doing weekly updates. Probably my next update I will not do until maybe the end of January, because at that time, I'll be around 20 weeks, and I will have my, I'm getting my diabetes test, the, um... For anemia, I have to get blood work for all that. So I'll do an update with that and see how that went. Oh yeah, side note. Tell me why when I went to my nine week, no, not nine week. How many weeks is I? Probably was like 12 or 13 weeks. It might have been. And I got my blood taken. Tell me why I passed out. I was so mad. That's the first time I that ever happened. I've been getting my blood taken, obviously, since I was little. I've been getting shots. I've never had a problem with shots. I do have a phobia of shots, but I've never got to the point where I feel like I was going to pass out and I've, I've never gotten like nauseous I just don't look at it and I don't like it but for some reason she's taking my blood and I'm okay and I'm just like okay whatever I'm not looking my boyfriend's right there he's like trying to distract me and then she's like okay we're done and I'm like okay good then all of a sudden my eyes get black like all black I cannot see and I'm freaking out like oh my gosh what's going on I can't see and then I just felt myself just like you know like going out so that was really, really scary. Everybody ran in the room. They, like, grabbed me. They took me out. They laid me on the bed. They told me to, like, elevate my legs. And, um, they put, like, a coal pack on my head, my back of my neck, and everything. My cheek, Not my cheeks. I don't want to talk about But just the back of my head, um, my forehead and everything. And then, um, they gave me, like, chocolate to, I guess, get my blood sugar back or whatever. But that was really, really scary. And that makes me nervous because when they're pregnant, you get your blood taken a lot because they have to test a lot of things. And that just gets me really, really scared because I'm like, am I going to pass out every time y'all take my blood? Because I'm really going to get irritated. But um, other than that, I forgot to share that with you guys, my last appointment. See, so once it takes so long for me to update. I'm trying to think of everything at once. But definitely around January 22nd, I will have the next update. Um, I'm going to wait for like good stuff to make a video about because nothing's really going to be going on between now and then um that's when my next appointment is is the 22nd so pretty sure i'm gonna make another video tomorrow once i get my teddy bear i'm so excited about that and um yeah so let me show you guys my progress so far maybe let me stand up but if you guys can see like this so you guys probably can't tell that much like this put my shirt on that's how it looks like that and then up so 17 weeks well on this side you really could tell I don't know why all of a sudden I turned this way you could tell so that's my stomach so far my line is like really prominent like you guys can really see my line and neck whatever it's called so um that's my update I hope you guys enjoyed it um like I said I'll probably have a video up not tomorrow on Monday I will have a video up the end of Monday or possibly Tuesday morning and then my next update will be January 22nd or the end of January. So, so excited and obviously I will be having my vlogs, my New Year's vlogs, my Christmas vlogs. Um, let me know what videos you guys want to see because like I said, I don't want this to be a pregnancy or a fitness or this kind of channel. My channel is everything into one. So if you have a request, I will do it if it's appropriate and yeah thanks for watching you guys and thanks so much for all the support and i'll see you guys in my next video bye